So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another first descendant video and today I'm going to showcase you gameplay with a maxed out character in Viesa. We're going to showcase all her abilities, what she does, what she's all about. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I won't hang about, I'm going to jump straight into that gameplay. Let's go get there first. So we'll cut the video and I'll catch you back in a quick second. Okay, so we are on that map and we are live recording. So if I didn't mess up, guys, I'm going to cut the video so you guys don't see my newbishness. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is actually a character I actually started the game with. Uh, but I've also been given a max out account so I can go through all characters and showcase to you exactly what they offer in regards to their abilities and this and of the goodness. Now, this girl here, I'm calling her the Ice Queen. She is absolutely brutal and as you've probably seen from the trailers, this girl is the one that looks like she's holding a ghost shell but she ain't, she's just throwing ice at everybody. And you can see here, her four skills which you can activate. We have Ice Beam, fires Ice Beam to attack target with skill attack of uh, times 43 damage. It's obviously based on my character's level as well, it won't be like that upon you first unlocking it. It shows you it's cooldown, it's cost of my mana, this and the other. But it's quite cool, you can see it there. We also have here guys, Frost uh, Fog, which is good and it follows you around. I like this actually, it's a lot better than what I originally thought it was once I would leveled it up. We also have the Ice Wave, pretty cool, I use this a lot as well. It's actually got a, a quick cooldown as well, which I like. And we also have Blizzard, where like you, you throw your ball out, it just freezes the enemies and they cannot move, it's quite cool. And a passive skill we have is Ice Sphere. Creates an ice sphere that circles around when one enemy is inflicted with ice shackle stage 2. Ice sphere shots uh, out to attack a nearby enemy with a skill attack of times 30% damage and increases ice shackle by 2 stages. Again, because I've leveled up, well, the character leveled up, it won't be like that upon uh, you first playing the game and selecting this character. So I'll show you a bit of this in action. Now, again, these enemies are just going to get absolutely melted because this is the highest world map I can go to but enemies are still way weaker than what my character is. So yeah, we're just going to run over here where loads of them spawn in and I'll show you what they can do. You see they bind to your left, oh I'm on controller. So left bumper and then any of the four main buttons. So let's see, I do can I call it badass. We also have the fog. Boom. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're just gonna freeze there so I can just take a shot yeah. you. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> uh, now we have the, I call it the ice hopper cut. Badouken. Stay frosty. Yeah, this is my main character. The other characters I haven't actually used yet. I'm gonna do videos on each and every one of them. And we have this one right here. Boom. Oh, you died straight away, so yeah. You died straight away, so that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Cool down and that's pretty slow, it's the main one. I know when I watched the uh, first trailer, I thought, are guns even going to be needed in this game? But trust me, they are. And they are amazing, they are brutal. They are definitely a need for them. Okay, so let's try this special ability out again. There we go. There we go, just absolutely melts. Again. My character's a high level. It won't be like this for when you're first playing the game. But yeah. Now, I actually expected more of... Well, how do I explain it? I mean, this is my character. This is the first one I use. I like her. I haven't used the others yet. But I was expecting more from this character. I'm not going to lie. Uh, some of what I've seen from what my mate's been using... There's a lot more on offer in this game, in my opinion, in regards to characters. Uh, but hey, you may get on with this skill. You may like it. She's not bad, I'm not going to lie. I mean, none of her abilities are poor. That's not what I'm saying. I, just, I expected more of an effect. I, think I expected more of a spectacle. I want to see shit exploding. I want to see fireworks everywhere, but you don't get that with this character. Not really. I mean, you can 
if a group of ads run at you at the same time, you can take them all out. But it's just like, yeah, that's all right. That's not nothing great. That's nothing spectacular. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. But boom, boom! I am like, I'm liking this game though, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's just tethered to me, taking my abilities off me. Oh, you can stay frosty. Get out of here. Get out of here. Keep an eye on that mana as well, guys. It's very important, as you probably aware, with games like this. One down. Ooh, ooh. That is that is brutal. It's a shame it's only I got like a small area of effect. But I guess even when you're in the end game and you're needing that defense, enemies are swarming upon you. It's probably gonna do you good, you know. And I think that's more what this character is. I mean this is more of a defense character, I'm not gonna lie. Or it could be a balanced one. It's definitely what not a rush in your face. Get out of here, enemy, you're going down, sort of character. Not a chance. Not a chance. I mean, my original playthrough of this on this beta, um, I think I got my character to a level 28. What was it? 24. And it was this character. This is the one I used. And, yeah, I got kind of bored of it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. The amount of loot that drops in this game. Oh, you can stay. Hadouken. These do upgrade as well, by the way, guys. Your abilities do upgrade. They do upgrade. Ha! Oh, you can. Wow, that guy's tethering them all. Protecting them all. What are you playing at, mate? Man, I'm going to fail this. I didn't even realize there was a timer. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not sure you're supposed to fucking finish this. Because. As just keep coming. I can hear one shooting at me. Nope, let's, let's keep coming up. I guess you're not supposed to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I went the wrong way. I'm not even sure. But yes, guys, this is Viesa. Um, decent character. Can be leveled up. Can be made super, super powerful uh, with runes and this and that. If you don't know what runes are, they're basically the foundation of this game in regards to your character's build what you plan to i mean it's unreal it's unreal. i actually made a video talking about ruins what they do how important they are to this game so yeah check that out you'll find that on my channel and if i remember i'll link it down below but this is viesta guys um which is all right i'm not gonna lie i haven't used any of it yet but i'm pretty sure in fact i'm certain she won't be my go-to when i uh Start the game, even if she does have a nice cleavage, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, people! But yeah, guys, I just want to showcase a little bit of gameplay of her, what she does, what she can offer. She offers quite a lot, but like I said, it's more of, in my opinion, it's it's not my... I like that. I'm a hunter in Destiny. I'm a trick staying out riders. I'm from shite. <laughs> but this won't be for me in the full game. And there we have it, guys. Yes, sir. And what you need to know guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one